Hello guys and welcome to the VR Shooting Range Toolkit tutorial video. I will show you how to add a custom gun to the project and make it function like a real one. I found this good looking model on the Sketchfab. The link to download it will be in the description, so let's start. The main goal is to have 7 separate parts of your gun model. The trigger the hammer, the slider, the grip, the magazine, and the bullets in the magazine. Next step is to align the new model with the default gun model from the project. For those who are familiar on how to do that, I would recommend to jump straight to the export section. And for those who are not, I will show how to do that in Maya. So the first step is to export a SAM grip from our project. Let's import the new gun model and our SAM grip mesh. I will remove the generated collision and add this mesh to a new layer and set it to be the reference. Also, I will hide it. We'll need this part a little bit later. I will remove all extra objects from the scene. We don't need them anymore. Also, I'm going to remove this magazine because I'm going to use this one. So the main goal is to have separate objects, trigger, magazine, bullets, hammer, grip and the slider. I will combine these two meshes into one and call it SM Magazine. Don't forget to name your parts because it really helps. To turn on the wireframe mode, press 4 on the keyboard. and press 5 to return back. I will speed up the combining process a little bit. Hide your parts using Ctrl H, hotkey, so it'll be easier to work for you. And when you'll need them back, press Shift H to unhide them. The slider part is ready. As you can see, it can be moved freely. Let's do the same with the grip. The grip is ready, don't forget to name it and delete all history, I'm using Alt-Shift-D for that. Again Shift-H to unhide. Now 
I will group these parts, Control G to do that. And delete these locators, we don't need them. The next part is to align our new gun with the default grip from the project. So the final structure of our parts should look like this. Let's get back to the aligning process. So the gun should be aligned in horizontal and vertical axis properly. To do that I'm using tool named Snap Together. Hold X key and drag the object. Here I'm trying to align the barrels and the triggers. Don't forget about the magazine. Freeze all transforms and delete all history. Now the model is ready to be exported to the Unreal Engine. Let's create a new folder and copy these blueprints to it. In Import Settings make sure to untick Combine Meshes. And in order to save time I will not create any materials. Open up VR Gun Master Blueprint and start changing the meshes. For additional equipment mesh, add silencer. Search for hand and turn on the visibility. Check if everything is aligned and if changes needed, just move hand like you wish. Everything looks good to me, I will leave as it is. Now this yellow arrow indicates the direction and location of the empty cartridges extractions. And the other one is the direction for the bullets and the muzzle effect. Be sure to move only the arrows. The green arrow is for aiming, try to align it with your sights. Now let's set up the slider movement. Move slider back and copy its location on X. Paste the value here.
Don't forget to reset the relative location. Jump to the side view and check if trigger rotates normally. If not, modify the pivot point. Also check the hammer rotation and make changes if needed. The rotation values can be modified in class defaults. Let's open up the magazine's blueprint and update the static meshes there. Reset bullet's relative location. Bring our new gun to the world. And the magazine too. Find simulate physics on begin play and disable it. After that everything is ready, check the results. Everything works well. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Thanks for watching.